Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick installation video of the options for a Yaesu FT920. Uh, the options I have are the FM1 board for FM mode, uh, the wide filter for AM which is uh, model YF116A, uh, and the CW narrow filter uh, which is uh, YF116C. Uh, since these options have become unavailable from Yaesu and they're still selling the radio new, uh, they've become hard to find and pretty expensive when you do find them on eBay. Uh, so I waited till I had all three before I opened the radio because I didn't want to open it three times. Uh, so I thought I'd do a, a quick view on the inside for someone who's considering buying these. It is a pretty simple installation, but I would have preferred to see it first myself. Uh, so here it goes. Here's what the options look like. Uh, two crystal filters and a little board for FM. Um, they come in uh, little boxes like this from Yesu. The option board locations in the manual are shown on a, uh, a back to front installation with the dial facing out. So I've changed that to how I did it with the dial facing inwards. And you can see the options marked out here. Of the six screws to unscrew to remove the bottom cover, three are at the back and another three are at the front and the legs stay on the unit. You can see here that the crystal filters uh, push down onto little locking standoffs. Uh, the FM board just relies on the friction of its sockets to uh, hold it in. You can see in this view up the back uh, where the board option board would be for the TCX07, the temperature control crystal oscillator. Uh, I don't have that one yet. It seems to be the hardest to find. And if you make the same mistake I did, you'll buy a filter when it's already in the radio because the seller didn't tell you when he sold the radio that he had the filter. With the FM board installed, the FM mode will work straight away as can be seen here without any menu setting. In order to make use of either of the crystal filters, you'll have to tell the radio that they're installed uh, and you do this in menu options 69 and 70. Having landed the menu on the uh, option that you'd like to change, pressing enter allows the up down button to change the option and then uh, pressing enter again will set it in memory. Back to the TCX07, this one isn't mine and I don't have one. It's been difficult to find an image that will show you clearly the clock frequency. I have found out what that frequency is though and it looks like you can go out and buy brand new temperature controlled crystal oscillators for that frequency and make a small board yourself. There's not much else on the board. So with the CW filter set up, switching it in and out is just a matter of pressing the narrow button. The optional speaker SP8 has a few audio filters to clean things up a little further. I thought the speaker was a bit of a rip-off when I saw the price, but I went ahead because it looks pretty. Uh, now I still think it's a rip-off, but it is pretty good. Now in uh, double sideband AM mode, I believe what happens when you have the AM wide filter installed is that it will use the SSB filter, uh, which comes stock with the unit, uh, when you press the narrow button in AM mode and then use the uh, wide filter normally. Without the AM filter, the set doesn't let you transmit in AM mode, but now that I can, I'm going to look at myself two states away with a 10 watt carrier on uh, the Melbourne Web SDR. And uh, on 7080, you can see a little fine carrier there, but that's not too bad for QRP. For FM mode, there's not a lot I can show you. Um, there was no activity on uh, 28 megahertz, and for 6 meter, uh, I'm not licensed and my antenna isn't tuned for it, so um, I'd probably have to deliberately set someone up to or transmit to me on uh, 10 meters. Uh, it's not going to happen this time. 
Overall, once this is done, I think the uh, FT920 is a pretty good mid-range HF radio once this is all done. It would worry me if uh, the unit is available new. Um, I'd be a bit cautious about that considering looking at this list, uh, all the internal parts seem to be discontinued. Uh, you can easily buy the SP8 speaker and probably also the microphone. Well, if you're an owner, I hope you got something out of that and uh, see you next time.